Welcome to Cars and Questions, the show where we go to car meets and ask dumb questions. We just filmed at one of the largest car meets in Texas, uh, close to a thousand cars here, and got some great interviews. And you're going to want to stick around till the end because we interviewed someone with a very rare Toyota. Yes, I'm asking you to stick around for Toyota. Enjoy. <laughs> Cool uh, BMW M3 competition. M4. M4. Let's start that again. All right, Kevin. Um, he's going to show us around his cool M4 competition. So, Kevin, you've only had the car a couple of months now. Right. How are you liking it so far? Ten out of ten experience. For okay. First car, for my first car, bro, I can't complain. What the? Heck? I know, right? You, you yeah. Like a water gun. Just seriously, like water balloons, something. Just, <laughs> yeah. So you've had this car two months. What were you driving before this? A Tacoma, and that was used for my detailing business. Oh, you have so a detailing I, I, business. Yeah. So I. Okay. That's how I afford this car, actually. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's really cool. So how long you had that business? I started in 2020, September 2020. Okay. So this year is going to be four years. Four years. September this year. Yeah. Wow. So what is uh, what's the nicest car you've detailed? It's got to be that Senna over there. That Senna has to be the most expensive for sure. Yeah. My favorite car that I've detailed is an SVJ. That's nice. my dream car. Yeah, That's yeah. My dream car for sure. Oh, those that so. sounds so <laughs> good. Uh, oh, they're amazing, bro. Yeah, that. I think that Senna was it. Um, was it brought here in a flatbed? Yes, that one right there. Okay, because it's gonna be taken back in the. Because you don't want to put miles on it, right? Or? No, no, because it was getting service. So oh. it was somewhere nearby. So he was like, just take it to the show. Take it back to my warehouse. Wow, Nick's got it like that. So. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and that so it belongs to the Nick Supercar yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the that's so cool. Car right there. Um, he's still missing his SF90 and his GT3 RS. So oh my God. He's got a. Have you detailed all of his cars? Yeah, except for the 296. That's brand new. Like okay. It's, it went from the showroom to this show too. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> that guy is crazy, bro. Nick. Nick is not saying. <laughs> so weird question, I guess, is how does he drive so many cars here? Friends. Friends, sometimes I take it too. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. So like the A12, he took it. The Senna was trailer today, but yeah. the 296, one of his friends would take it. I would have taken the SF90 if I didn't take this today. Do you, but I had to take my car. You do. This is a cool car, and I'm really glad you brought it here. So um, what's your plans for the future? Is any plans to modify it? Modify this? I've honestly done quite a bit um, already. Okay. To be honest, there's not much more like aesthetic mods to the car that I can do. I have um, front mount intakes coming. I have the CSL taillights coming. Nice. But in terms of like performance, this car is brand new, right? So performance-wise, if you really want to get some serious power out of it, you'd have to tune it, unlock it. Yeah. And if you do that, then you just completely void the warranty. So funny you say that. We were at a BMW dealership, uh, BMW of our LinkedIn, yeah. for a previous video. Uh, link in the description below. We'll, you know, happy to show that on screen. Um, if you get a carbon tune yeah. through BMW, it does not void yes, the warranty. I, I have heard of that, and I think one of my friends told me that a couple of weeks ago. And he said it was like five thousand dollars, which I think is cool to keep the warranty. Yeah. But I think like a femto, like if you send your ECU out, like overseas, I think it's like a couple grand. Okay. The car's out for a couple of weeks, but yeah, if I really wanted to keep on warranty and tune it, and I think you make like a good seven fifty to the wheel. Yeah. It's not a bad option, bro. It's not a bad <laughs> we'll see what happens. I think at the end of the year, I'll kind of decide where okay. I want to go with it. You're just kind of enjoying it stock, now, brand yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's I, really I cool. clearly can't handle the power already. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you get to drive the F12 too? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude. Oh, Can you, I how, that how's car, that compared to uh, what Dude, you... Honestly, I'll tell you what. Like, whenever I got this car, uh -huh. it was... I hate to say this, right? But it's so underwhelming after, like, driving cars like that. It's like... yeah. I want to be happy for myself, <laughs> and I am, but, dude, driving that, the SF90, I mean, you have literally double the horsepower that yeah. this car has. Nice. So it's like, <laughs> it doesn't compare. It doesn't, yeah. But it's still like, you know, this is like your car. Like, you worked for it. This is my trophy right now, so. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, thank God I have a car like this. I, I'm super blessed, super blessed to have a car like this, but. No, and you've worked hard, I'm sure, like yeah. four years in detailing. I mean, yeah. Texas heat, trying oh, to detail dude, a car. You should have seen. You should have seen my tan last night. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it was crazy. You just tell everyone, yeah, I go to the beach. <laughs> oh, dude, you wouldn't believe me. Like I was two completely different. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, but 
Thank God. I mean, I'm, I'm super blessed. Super blessed to have nice. this. Nice. Yeah. Um, so you, you're a pretty young guy, right? You look 21, pretty young. 21. 21? Yeah. You're just, kidding. I this on my 21 birthday. 21st birthday. Oh, my God. If... <laughs> It I is mean, not a good financial decision, though. I won't oh, say that. you're not. Okay, listen. You're 21. You're not going to make financial decisions or good financial decisions till you're at least 30. Trust me on that. True. true. <laughs> not even 30. I know people 50 making horrible financial decisions. True. <laughs> I, I might. I might be one of those 50 year olds one day. <laughs> you're not 50, bro. You're like 20. So, so Kevin, you're a young guy now. Have you had any tickets or incidents with your cars? No yet? tickets. Thank God. Okay. Knock on wood. Um, There's still time. Yes. <laughs> if y'all know on TikTok, yeah, I talked about it a little bit. I've showed y'all pictures, but I haven't gave anyone the full story. I'll uh, say it briefly right now. Okay. I'll say it briefly. You're on the spot, so I don't want you to feel pressured into telling it. Okay. 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 Go ahead. I told all my friends. Um, so I was taking a left turn at a light. Okay. Completely my fault, right? So the car was still in all-wheel drive mode. It was an automatic. The, the ground was super dry too. Yeah. It wasn't even raining. So I took the left turn. I took a sharp, a sharp left turn. I hit the gas way too early. Oh no! I was going way too much to the left, and then over I overcorrected. It, yeah. And that's exactly what happened. So oh, I, I had an accident, and the car was out for like a month. Wow. Um, I got it back like a week and a half ago. Okay. So just trying to enjoy that right now. Yeah. So I, I missed the car a lot. Yeah. But were you physically okay? Like no. Yeah, no yeah. Issues physically okay. Thankfully, like no like body damage. Okay, it was good. all like the rear, um, passenger side or driver side tire that just completely came off. Okay. But other than that, I mean, the car was out for a month. Thankfully. Um, Dallas Auto Center hooked me up. They did go. the whole work, so thank God they did it really fast. You're trying to be in the interview? <laughs> Do you like my car? <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to get through. <laughs> Do you like the Beamer? I'm Ray, Ray. Ray. Ah. All right, go, go, go away, go away. <laughs> get him out of here. Kevin, you want to tell my t tell uh, viewers what your TikTok is? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, my Instagram is Mystic Detailing underscore, and then my my TikTok is Mystic G82. Awesome, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. and uh, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. This is fun. Absolutely. Next time. Next time I should have an R8. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. <laughs>
um, and it was out of Clearwater, Florida. Had it shipped to me. Nice. Uh, I, other than that mechanical work I talked about, I really haven't done anything to the car except put the white walls on it. Okay. I liked it, made it look more cartoonish. It, so. it, it looks more old school out yes, too. Yes. I, I love that. I, didn't, I, I submitted for a British heritage certificate that tells you about the manufacturing of the car okay. when it came off the line, what yeah. options and colors. And it's the same color and it had white walls whenever it came off the line. Nice. So. so you just kind of yeah. put it back to its original yeah, form. Yeah, validated like my choice of putting yeah, white yeah. walls on it. Nice. So uh, what car did you have before this? Uh, this is my first classic okay. collector car. So okay, other than nice. that, it's just my daily driver. What What is your daily driver? Uh, an Infinity. So I now okay. have a Q50 Sport. Nice. And before that, I had a G35 Sport. So that's nice. been working well for me. And I drive the wheels off of those. So <laughs> those will get over 200,000 miles. Nice. And so speaking of, how many miles do you have on the, the MG over the here? The odometer says 34,000. but It's uh, a five digit. Know, yeah, it's, it's older than me. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's probably at 100 yeah. plus. <laughs> well, although knowing MG, it might be real because it's not reliable enough to get to 100. <laughs> no, they're, they're, that's a bad rap. It's, I haven't I had know. really any problems with this one. And I know a lot of people that just drive them every day. Yeah, no, so. and, and knock on wood, nothing goes wrong. Yeah, I hope that's right. I didn't I jinx so. it in any way. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to I want to kind of take you back a bit um, and talk to you about your first ever car. What what was that? It was a 1978 Pontiac Firebird Esprit. Nice. So it was maroon, had yeah. this nice orange stripe that started at the headlight, went back and over the back of the cab nice. and then back around. Um, the If it got wet inside, mm -hmm. the stain they used on the seats would come off in your clothes. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was... Good old American yeah, build quality. It was <laughs> crazy. So, yeah, you had to kind of lift up on the door to close it. Yeah. When you put it in drive, you had to then put it forward so it would stick in the right place. Nice. So what's your favorite thing about going to car shows? Just seeing the different um, styles and, and types of cars. Uh, I enjoy the people when we talk to, mm -hmm. um, but just love rolling artwork is what cars nice. are to me. And so I just enjoy seeing the different ones. Yeah. And so what is your least favorite thing about car shows? Uh, a little too much exotics and people revving their engines. I mean, cars should be about character and personality. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot here where, I don't know, if you have $300,000, you can go get this fancy car that exactly, people do an yeah. awe over. And I'm like, that's yeah, yeah. not really what it's about to me. So No, I, I really like that. And thank you for showing us your MG. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Now, you might think this is some sort of 70s or 60s muscle car, um, but this is actually a Toyota. Yes. And I'm with Will, he's the owner. So Will, tell me a little bit more about the car, please. So it's a, a 1971 uh, Toyota Crown. Um, it's one of 30 that were actually ever imported into the US in, uh, in nice. 1971. Yeah. Um, they are brought in for like dealer shows. Um, the Toyota acts the Crown in the US. Yeah. Um, and so um, it was really, my dad picked it up brand new. Um, wow. We've just always had it, grew up in it. It was my first car when I turned 15. Nice. And so, yeah, it's it's been a, uh, a fun, fun car. Um, I get a lot of the same reactions as what you guys I, had. Yeah, I was trying to identify it as, you know, maybe a Dodge or a Ford or something. And then I went around back and it said Toyota. I'm like, Toyota? Yeah. I Because I've never heard of this one. Yeah, it's, you know. it's really, and that's a, I get a lot of that. It's actually... Um, when we talk about like rarity and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it's actually rarer than most other Toyotas. Like it's the rarer than a 2000 GT. GT. Wow. It's rarer than um, most almost anything that's out there. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's that's the only game I got. Okay. Best photo bomber so far. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so this was your first car. Did you learn how to drive stick on it? Absolutely, yeah. We uh, out in out in the back roads in Idaho, uh, nice. one of the dirt roads. It's just yeah. me and my dad and and this whole thing. And so, yeah, it was uh, just yeah. I've always basically just this has been the car that I've had. Uh, yeah, it, it's yeah. So it's it's been a fun a fun one. I get a lot of the same reaction all the time. Yeah, the, exactly. The, this what is it you know and that really is i've i've had some uh some old guys that are yeah. like you know car guys real car guys are like i'm a car guy what parts of what cars did you put together to make this thing and so it's oh they it's, think it's a kit car yeah they think it's something wow. like custom or something like that because it's just so different yeah it's so unique there's uh things that are that are on it that like you know the the front the front way 
the front grill is and the wraparound lights okay. that people have just never seen yeah. until the mid 80s. And exactly. Some, yeah. And so this car was so far ahead of its time. Wow. But it just, they never made any. Yeah. So. Nice. And um, so your dad bought it new. So when did you actually take possession of it? Was this? So I got it when I turned 15. Okay. So I would have been like 92. Nice. So yeah, it was, um, and so yeah, and then I really, I, for a lot of years, I I was always like it was his car. Yeah. Um, I was just taking care of it. Kind okay. Of thing. So I've already always been very careful with it. You know, I w I wasn't your typical high school kid that was you know smoking with tires a, with a pretty cool car. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's only got about 140 horsepower. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was uh, basically just I was wasn't your typical kid. Um, I drive two different ways when i'm driving this i'm very careful with yeah it. just because i kind of started figuring out that it and actually my dad always said you know anybody can have a mustang there's only one toyota crown and really that's really yeah. how we were for, i can imagine parts yeah oh and eh. finding so you know. so some things in toyota's infinite wisdom um they use the same parts for a lot of years okay um they just put a different part number on it and so actually like the the some of the brake parts and stuff mm -hmm. like that um they're really, it's like, like I just did, redid the rear end on it. It's the same as a 86 Corolla. Oh, okay. So yeah, some stuff, it's actually pretty easy to find. You just have to cross-reference yeah. stuff. And so it's it's not too bad. Body parts, that's a different, different story. story. Yeah. Um, I actually just got like the uh, the front emblem and some other things for it, um, okay. it from Indonesia. Well, uh, you know, just <laughs> new old stock that's, that's yeah. still sitting around out there and everything else. And nice. So. so you've you've put quite a few miles on this. I understand you drive it pretty often. I do. I try and drive it as, as much as I can. You know, it's it's um, obviously with an older car, they're they're temperamental at best. Yeah. Um, and so I actually just put got rid of the old uh, the points in it. This, okay. Just like last night yeah. kind of thing put, put electronic ignition in it oh, and that, nice. that, like that was like a night and day yeah. driving down here for this this morning <laughs> um but yeah it's just you know little things here and there um but yeah it's it's a three hundred and fourteen thousand mile Whoa. toyota like it, yeah it's, you've, you've driven it I, yeah, yeah. It, it was most of those were my dad um because okay. he, he daily drove it for almost 30 years wow and um and like i like i said i remember driving i remember being this tall and they're <laughs> shifting it you know back back when i was a kid and everything and, yeah. and so um but yeah it's it's really just been uh, a fun card and it, it's it turns heads when it's oh, when you're sure. driving down the road like yeah. i get so many people that like yeah. roll up stop <laughs> come back and and so it's it's kind of fun so have you ever taken it to a toyota dealership like what, oh, all what, the time. Do, what do they say that's, that, that's actually, like sir uh, your car belongs somewhere else no actually that's <laughs> that's one of my favorite sports kind of yeah yeah it's, it's just oh i need a whatever two dollar gasket yeah i'm gonna go down to the toyota dealership just to mess with them <laughs> and so i do and then it gets surrounded and usually there's about 100 pictures that get taken nice. and and people sit there and go hey can you just put this in our showroom and i'm like nope sorry no it, it yeah. gets driven so yeah. uh but yeah that, that one's actually pretty fun that's really do. cool yeah, yeah like i mean that that's a, I would love to do that. Just mess with people. Yeah, we actually had so we had the uh, the Toyota Nationals last year. Okay, um, which was uh, up here in Prosper, um, and so it was actually kind of cool because it was at one of the dealerships. But then we had a lot of guys from Toyota Corporate, which nice. is here. Yeah, um, and uh, because like the new Crown was coming out. Okay, and so they they were actually you know they're like him hawing like uh, okay and the new Crown was all right. And then when you put the new Crown next to this one. Um, the new crown actually has a lot of a lot of uh, uh, homage to this body oh, really? style. Yeah, it really does. But I mean, it's a four door kind of lifted. Yes, yeah. but when you look at the front end of it, okay. it's got the wraparound lights. It's got okay. the big front grille. It's got nice. um, the the rear end on the on the new crown is actually almost identical to the uh, the, the this really? version of station wagon. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because they, they made a sedan as yep. well as the station wagon. Yep, yeah, sedan yeah. and station wagon. So the new crown actually had a lot of influence from this nice. generation of car. Which, when you got, you, you don't realize it till you put the two next yeah. to each other, and you're like, oh, that's kind of. Did they ask you for your car for the launch of the the crown? Oh heck no! They didn't. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the problem is really like it doesn't exist. Yeah. And so, and I I don't have the biggest following, you know, or whatnot, yeah, yeah, yeah. because it doesn't exist. You know, yeah. a lot I get a lot of people that, like you, you know, they just think it's another American muscle car, and they exactly, just kind of yeah. walk past it. You know, yeah. if, unless they really kind of know cars and they see cars a lot, it's not it's not that unique. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you know cars and you see it and you're like, wait, something's different, yeah. something, I need to figure out what the heck this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I get a lot of, a lot of the same ones. Nice. Um, especially a lot of the old, old bus car guys, like they, they, they love it. Yeah. So. <laughs> and, um, 
Oh, okay. uh, cool. Yeah. The rarest car in the show. Nice. Yeah. Cars and questions. Follow us. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming this isn't your daily driver, though. No, no. What? what no. I mean, yeah. What, so what is your daily driver? Uh, I have a uh, 2017 GMC pickup. Okay, nice. Drive. Yeah. Typical Texas. Yeah. Know. Yeah. And are, do you still working or are you retired? So I'm actually, I'm in the uh, uh, Air Force um, oh, wow. uh, down here in Fort Worth at the uh, Naval Air Station. Wow. So, um, I've been I've been in the Air Force for 24 years between active oh, duty and in, in the guard. That's cool. So um, I'm actually, um, you know, being a driver, I'm actually the uh, uh, in charge of uh, ground transportation. Nice for uh, the our section in the Air Force here, and, and uh, so I do a lot of like uh, driving for like tractor trailers, buses. Yeah. Um, anytime that we get a distinguished visitor into into town or nice. anything like that, I go and I pick them up at the airport. That, nice. that type of fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, so cool. A little bit of ex executive driving stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's actually kind of fun, uh, fun fun job. I get to get out and go do a lot. So, see, told you we got photobond a lot. Yep. <laughs> so, well, I can proudly say that you are the first veteran we've had on our show. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your service, you're and you're actually the first Toyota we've had on our show. Yeah, there you because go. Because nobody wants to see. Uh, like a Corolla or something. So, right. yeah. It's... But this, this is a Toyota that I mean, just <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Absolutely, anytime, awesome. man. Don't you miss being in love? Don't you miss being in love?